Time Magazine has their 100 most influential people list out. And they decided to put uh, one of the largest Republican donors on that list, Rebecca Mercer. Now, this makes a lot of sense because those Republican donors are enormously influential. So uh, by legally bribing uh, one politician after another, including the president, uh, they have gained tremendous power and influence. So she certainly belongs on that list. Here's the fun part of the story. They got Ted Cruz to write her segment in the magazine. And it is so wonderfully fawning, it is hilarious. First, let me give you context. Uh, the Mercer family, that's Robert Mercer, her dad, and Rebecca Mercer. Robert Mercer is uh, involved in the financial industry, has made a fortune there, and would not like to get taxed. No, he would like lower taxes. He would like less regulation on Wall Street. But he says it's because he loves freedom. <laughs> I'm sure he does. He also loves his pocketbook, and he also loves you not looking into what he's doing on Wall Street. But those are just coincidences that they co that uh, they happen to match up. So. Uh, when Ted Cruz was, was first running for president, the Mercer family gave him $11 million. Now that's at a point where we haven't had any primaries yet. And they put their uh, bet on Cruz and said, now here's a guy that we know will be a good little errand boy. And we tell him deregulate Wall Street, he'll pretend to do it for freedom. Okay, when we tell him to lower our taxes, he'll pretend it's for the middle class. Now that is a boy who will listen to us. Be a good boy, Ted. And he was for a while, but then they realized he was a loser and he got his ass kicked by Donald Trump. So they switched teams. Logical, they need to own the president. So they went to Donald Trump and gave him $13.5 million after the 11 million that they had given to Ted Cruz. Now, Ted Cruz. Um, famously did not endorse Donald Trump at the Republican convention. I'm gonna come back to that because the Mercers were not pleased. And then he immediately amended his position. Oh, That was so much fun. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but now, of course, he has come back around like, oh yes, of course, Mr. Mercer, Mrs. Mer Ms. Mercer, of course, Donald Trump is wonderful president, isn't he? <laughs> Can I please get more money, please? Bitch. Okay, so here's what he wrote up for Time Magazine, Rebecca Mercer. Is a warrior and a patriot. Okay, but like, when was she a warrior? <laughs> and how is reduce my taxes so I can save tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars that is not going to go towards your kids' education or your bridges or your schools or your hospitals? How is that a patriot? That seems greedy to me. But of course, he's going to talk about her in fawning style. That's just the beginning. Let's go further. She's the daughter of a brilliant mathematician. A tremendously successful investor and blessed with her own deep intelligence and intuitive insight. And it would have been simple for her to have settled into a life of comfort and ease. And what is she doing instead? Is she, has she joined Doctors Without Borders? Is she helping refugees in Lebanon? What, why? What is she doing? Has she endangered herself? Is she in the jungle somewhere trying to? Cure disease, what is going on with that I didn't catch on? No, instead she's gotten out there and gone and given legal bribes to all of us Republicans so that she could have even more money. Oh, What a patriot, she could have just had comfort and ease. But instead she wanted more comfort and more ease. What an American. I'm on the verge of tears head to hear Ted, you know, you are a good order. <laughs> Well, anyway, let me leave it at that. He goes on to say, but Becca cares too much about freedom and our nation to do so. No, she fights. She fights for lower taxes for the rich and less regulation of Wall Street. Sometimes she even gets up off of her couch in the middle of her mansion to do so, to write a check for me or Donald and other Republicans that her and her father have bought for their own gain. I mean, freedom. This is moving indeed. Well, what did she do to fight for freedom? She <laughs> gave, quote, fueled a political revolution. Well, Ted, how did she fuel it? <laughs> did she get out there and do protests? Uh, did she go out there and register voters? What did she? Oh, no, she just gave tens of millions of dollars. I see, I see. Uh, he goes on to say, Becca has helped transform the world of politics. Well, that's true. When he talked about fueling a political revolution, he was talking about the 11 million she gave him. 
And when he talked about transforming uh, the world of politics, that was the 13 and a half million that she gave Trump. So these are the words that he's, by the way, he later actually literally said that. So <laughs> he clarified, uh, making my job a little bit easier. Now, when uh, Ted Cruz, now coming back to when Ted Cruz it was still a little bit bitter, because remember, Donald Trump unmanned him. He talked about his wife being unattractive. He talked about how she was corrupt for working at Goldman Sachs. That was, of course, before he filled about a third of his cabinet with Goldman Sachs appointees. He talked about how his father was a murderer, might have been involved in the JFK assassination. It was an open handed slap, boy. So for a minute, Ted Cruz went up on that stage at the RNC and said, Hey, vote your conscience, and did not endorse Donald Trump. And the Mercers were not pleased. This is not what they had purchased. So they said at the time, last summer and again this year, Senator Ted Cruz pledged to support the candidacy of the nominee of the Republican Party, whomever that nominee might be. We are profoundly disappointed that on Wednesday night, he chose to disregard this pledge. He went to their suite at the convention and they slammed the door in his face. So what did Ted Cruz, man of principle, do? Now, this is a true fighter for the cause of freedom. So he is going to vote his conscience, act his conscience, and he was never going to support Donald Trump. Or this happened instead. My favorite picture of all time. Know your role. You're not in charge of anything. You don't have any principles. Your job is to be an errand boy for Robert and Rebecca Mercer. Job well done, little boy. So now, because you were so groveling and so pathetic, when time came by and said, hey, Mr. Order, would you like to give an oration for Rebecca Mercer? He said, "Oh yes, I would. She is a warrior and a patriot. Please fund my next campaign. I mean, fight for freedom. This is the big principled conservative, it's both disgusting, it makes you want to avert your gaze like, oh man, you can barely look at that picture. Conservatives, is this the guy you're proud of? This is the guy that you think not only has principle, but is a real fighter, has courage, has convictions? Does this guy look like he's got convictions? There's only one conviction Ted Cruz has, that is, I will serve the highest bidder. And right now, the Mercers are the highest bidders. Good boy, Ted, good boy. Sick. Our reporter Jordan Chatton broke the Donna Brazil story. He was right, she just apologized for it. Help us get more reporters like that. You're the one responsible for that. Thank you, and let's do more right now at tytnetwork.com slash go.